Hello everybody, this is Matt with remove-malware.com and tonight is a real short and simple video. Um, I was just going to start going through some of the utilities I use and uh, I want to start off with one of, one of the big ones that I use and that's uh, CCleaner, also known as uh, Crap Cleaner. Uh, this is a free application that I'm sure almost everybody who visits my website and forum already knows about this so you guys can tune out. But there's a lot of people who don't know about this program and what it can do to kind of clean up your system for you. And uh, I use this before I scan with any uh, antivirus, anti-malware um, application like Malwarebytes or something like that. This program, CCleaner, can, if you're like me, if you go out and clean computers like I do and stuff like that, it can take your appointment and bring it down from, you know maybe an hour down to ten minutes because you're not scanning thousands and thousands of temporary files um, so uh, I just want to go ahead and get started just by installing this guy it's a very small program it's about three megabytes uh, it's the latest version I just downloaded it it's 2.31 it's from a company called Paraform. They make some awesome applications that are free. It's just going to install this into you know C program files. One thing, um, and I know they they make a few bucks on this and good for them, but I don't need it. Um, I hate Yahoo. It adds. Uh, it says add C Cleaner Yahoo Toolbar to clean from your browser. I I don't want that, so I'll uncheck that. and you can see it installs oh pretty fast it's almost almost instant on a regular system I'm on a virtual machine right now so I'll just hit finish to run CCleaner well, there's a couple of things, this is kind of like an all-in-one little tool, it's pretty neat um, you can see right off the bat it's going to clean temporary internet files, cookies if you want to. Um, I usually uncheck that for myself. Uh, you can clean history, recently typed URLs. Most people want that unchecked because they want to know where they've been. Um, and then under Windows Explorer, uh, you can see what it'll clean here. Lots of other stuff there. And then under System, it'll clean the it'll empty the recycling bin, temporary files memory dumps, check disk fragments, windows log files um, and it'll also clean up some stuff from uh, applications there too so if I go ahead and hit analyze it says I have 164.9 uh, megabytes of files that are kinda taking up space in my system and I found this to be pretty pretty accurate no problems at all removing this stuff. Um, just make sure that if you're running on this on your system and you have people using your computer besides you, they might get really pissed that you um, deleted the cookies or the recently typed URLs or even the history. So just know that, uh, especially if you're doing this for a client. Um, I'd be pretty sensitive on those too because people hate re-entering in their passwords and things like that. So I could say run cleaner. It says these will be permanently deleted. Are you sure you want to proceed? You can check that not to say, you know, never show me that again. And it'll go through. And on some systems this could take, you know, 30, 40 seconds. But on here it's there's barely anything there. Typically I'll remove like one to two gigs per appointment of just pure crap. And you know the only downer with uh, C Cleaner, and I wish that they would come out with a little plugin for this. It'd be so cool to clean everyone's profile. It only cleans the logged on users' profile. So if I want to clean everyone, like if it's a family of you know four or five, I'll just switch users and keep running C Cleaner just to clean up their stuff. Uh, it's kind of tedious, but it's faster than doing it manually. Uh, the other cool thing, we'll go right down to the next tab, and this is the registry cleaner. Now, I, I normally always say that registry cleaners are pretty much the snake oil um, 
of the computer world. I have never really had to clean a registry. Some people swear by it. I've never seen any speed benefit to it, except that it can usually, more often than not, mess things up. But there are some times where I'll use it. And that would be when I get a customer who does this. I don't want this application anymore. I'm just going to trash it. Now, what's wrong with that is that they've basically, hang on, let me delete some of this stuff in here. They've basically uninstalled, not uninstalled the program, but deleted it and left behind the registry entries. And what we need to do is see if we can get rid of some of this stuff for my demo here, please. I didn't have a chance to, you know, kind of preview this whole thing, this whole process. Okay, so all that stuff's gone. Get rid of the setup files. Get rid of the reader stuff. Resource. Something in there is running. Okay, whatever. I shouldn't be able to uninstall it right now. Let's go ahead and empty that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and reboot really quick. System should start up without Adobe working. And, in case you've been wondering where I am, I've got, <clears throat> like I said in one of my last videos, i got family in from out of town, and I've been playing um, Tour Guide every single day of the week. So, I'm finally getting a little break now. Back to my normal life. Um, I also put out a couple announcements. I'm not going to really say when I'm doing reviews because last time I tried to do a review, I had an emergency call from a client. I couldn't do it, and um, people really get pissed. <laughs> I mean, they get pissed online if I don't stick with my review schedule. So I will just pop them up, and it'll be a surprise. Uh, and I haven't forgot about the fence wall version 3. Um, I've just been testing it. So I'd like to test out some more of these um, some more of these utilities. Ugh. I gotta reset my password. Hang on a second. So CCleaner is the first of them, and these demos shouldn't take really long. They're pretty quick. Okay, so the PC starting back up again. And if I try to load, it says it can't find um, Adobe Acrobat. So at this point, I can tell it's been, you know, kind of messed up. I'm just assuming that the uninstaller doesn't work. We're going to go ahead and pretend because I don't know if it still does or not. We'll open up CCleaner, go to Registry, and we'll scan for any issues. And what do you know? You see all this Adobe Reader stuff pops up. And then we've got some missing or shared DLLs from Microsoft. Um, just a whole lot of Adobe stuff, mainly. So we'll say Fix Selected. It asks us, do we want to back up the registry? 
and I say yes. But before I do that, it's always a pretty good idea to, you know, create a restore point yourself. I don't, kinda, I don't really um, depend on any program to do it for me. And, uh, oh, I screwed up. I need to create a restore point. Hang on one second. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Um, I need to create a restore point manually, so I'm just going to go to uh, create a restore point. And I'll call this before reds clean. And I probably should say how I got there. Basically, if you hit Properties, right-click your computer, hit Properties in Windows 7, and then go over to System Protection, you can get to it from there. And just create a restore point yourself. Always a good I good idea to do when you're before you mess with the registry. All right, so that's created. And I don't know where my C cleaner went, but it disappeared. I guess maybe I canceled it. Let's go back to registry and scan for issues. Okay, so it's found a bunch of issues. If I hit fix selected, it's going to ask me if I want to back up the registry. I always do. And it says 79 issues, so we'll say fix. See how fast that was? It was almost instantly. You always want to scan again. Okay, fix that little guy. Save. Okay, so that registry entry is gone now. We run a scan against the registry. You can see we have no more issues, so we're good. So that is a way you can clean your registry. If you do need to restore your registry, those entries again, you can do that. They're saved in these little reg files. If you double click them, it says, Do you want to you're sure you want to enter this information back in your registry? But I'm going to say no. But you can. You can go ahead and do that. So the other cool thing in CCleaner are the little tools that it has. Now, there are certain cases where you can't get you cannot get to the control panel quick. Maybe some malware has you locked down. Um, or the control panel, the CPL file's been deleted. Um, there's there's a couple of different things I've run into throughout the years where I've needed to use this. And you can click on tools, you can click on uninstall, and you can click on any app that you want to install. And you can run the uninstaller. I don't think this will work. Well, it might. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I deleted the uninstaller. I thought I did. But typically, on any program um, out there, you can pretty much just click it and then click Uninstall. So in this case, it worked. It kid cannot work. Okay, which is what I thought. Um, even though it's gone, um, under the startup, this is another way. Some people out there who are used to using uh, used to using MS Config. Sometimes MS config is gone. Um, you can't get to it, um, or it's it's been you know kind of locked down in some way. Or you're on a Windows 2000 box, you don't have MS config sitting around, something like that. You can click your startup button, and you can say you can delete entries or you can disable them. So if I disable that entry, 
it's not going to start when my computer starts. Or I can delete them. You can also go to System Restore. So I could restore before my registry if I wanted to. Before I clean my registry. Um, under Options, I really don't uh, use this too much. You can start CCleaner when the computer starts. You can do a secure file deletion. Um, <laughs> you can delete stuff uh, like the DOD, Department of Defense, or NSA, or Gutman, Gutman, which I've never even heard of. So if you're extremely paranoid, you want to delete stuff, that's the way to do it. I normally only stick with normal. But that's pretty cool that they offer that. Um, you can also keep cookies. So if there's certain cookies that you want to keep, and you always want to delete other cookies, you can take these cookies and save them. So if I want to save uh, foul hippo cookies, I could save that. Never used it, but I'm sure it might be handy. If you want to include a directory that always delete, um, if there's just a directory, let's say you download lots of files on the internet, and um, you always want to empty that, you could go ahead and browse to that folder and just say downloads and say OK. This is warning this folder will be emptied of all the files upon cleaning. Are you sure you want to do this? So you got to be careful with that. And um, exclude. You can always exclude a folder. I've never had to use that ever yet. So, And uh, that's that's pretty much it. Um, CCleaner is just a really cool all-in-one tool for doing some cleanup stuff. And like I said, I run this application, I run the cleaner part of it before I scan for any uh, for any malware. So I hope you enjoyed that little demo of CCleaner. Not terribly exciting, but it's definitely one of the tools in my toolkit. So thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.